surprise. <laughs> it's really hot. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I haven't said this in such a long time and it even feels a bit weird. I haven't even done... Listen, guys, life has just been lifing for me and I'm going to get into that. Um, but yeah, this video is going to be a quick update. I'm going to kind of just... Because for the longest time I haven't been ready to talk and finally I feel like I'm ready to kind of do this video and talk to you guys and just kind of update you guys on what's been going on, okay? Before I start, I want to say a very big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I talked about them back in December when I first explained to you guys that I was now doing therapy. BetterHelp for me, at the time I discovered it and started using it was a godsend to me because I was desperately looking for a therapist and someone to talk to and I found one on BetterHelp. So really quickly, just let me tell you guys, is this something bothering you? Is there something preventing your happiness? Do you think that there's just something blocking you from achieving your goals? Do you think that you're not yourself? Do you think that you're not really in the best mental space right now? Um, BetterHelp, I think, is the platform for you. I'll highly recommend it because I'm not just saying this, I'm saying this from experience. My therapist or the therapist that I use is on there, okay? If you go on BetterHelp, what essentially happens is that they assess you, they ask you some questions and assess you and match you to your own professional licensed therapist. You can start communicating with your assigned therapist in 48 hours just 48 hours once you're done signing up. I'm going to stress like I did in the last video that it is not an emergency line. So if you have an emergency, please do call emergency services or just call whatever the relevant body is in your country. It is also not self-help. It is just professional therapy done securely online. So there is a broad range of expertise. They have about 20,000 plus professional licensed therapists on there. I need to really stress this professional and licensed, but they have a broad range of people. No matter how unique you think that your problems are or your needs are, there are so many experts for different types of like needs and all of that there. So BetterHelp is available worldwide. You can log into your account at any time and send a message to your therapist. You will always get a thoughtful, timely response whenever you send a message. You have different options for communicating with your therapist. There is a video option, which I do like 90% of the time there you can do like you know a video call where the both of you kind of go over things and talk there is an audio option so if you don't want you know just you want to feel like you're talking to someone on the phone because some people prefer that you can do that you can also chat and text during your session because i remember this particular day where i was feeling very low i just was not in the mental space to kind of talk and my therapist asked me what do you how do you want us to talk today and i was like i want us to chat and we spent the entire hour kind of chatting and going over things and i was just kind of just venting and talking about what had was making me feel like that that day and it was a very very good conversation you don't have to feel awkward you don't have to wait at any waiting room like for someone to call you in there is no queue i have even in situations where my therapist was worried about me gotten messages from her and she's just like how are you doing just checking up i really want to know how like it's it's really Prior to this, I've never had therapy, but I don't really imagine it being better than this is really good. Like I already said, BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. So they make it easy and free for you to change therapists. If you feel like something is not clicking, this happened to me. When I first signed up, I felt like I was, you know, paired with someone like I didn't really click with. And I felt like it was mostly because of cultural differences and all of that. And I went and I chose someone else. This time around, I found an Igbo woman, a Christian, someone who had lived in Nigeria, like, and she, she sometimes she even gives you the option to talk to her in Igbo. Like she's like, if you can't say it in English, say it to me in Igbo. I've seen Yoruba therapists on there. I've seen Igbo therapists on there. I've seen therapists from different tribes that we have here in Nigeria. So you're going to find a therapist for you there. There's someone for you there. I, I, I bet you. It's also more affordable than conventional therapy, I would say. Um, the only thing I'd say that if you're in Nigeria and you're interested in better help and you want to use better help, please make your payment using a dollar card. We know that we have have this whole new limit of $20 now but it's about $65 per session that they will charge honestly guys to be serious if you're trying to buy anything from outside of Nigeria just go and open a dumb account it just makes things easier because I don't know what's going on in this country to sign up just use this link as it appears on the screen it is www.betterhelp.com slash dimma the slash dimma is very important I'm also going to have this link in the description box use it and you're going to get 10% off when you sign up, okay? I think that this is very important. So if you're considering this, you might as well get some money off. You're gonna get 10% off whenever you sign up using my link, okay? 
Okay, Dima, what's up? What's been up with you? What's been happening? Guys, it's been a lot, okay? Life has been lifing for me where I'm concerned. And sometimes thinking of some of the things I've gone through in the past eight, nine months is almost unbelievable. It's still largely kind of unbelievable, but it's just been wild, okay? It's been a lot. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. I'm going to insert some pictures really quickly on the screen. Anesthesia, procedures, pain, fear worry and just how it's kind of affected those around me it's just been wild okay but i decided to start off here because i realized social media generally because some people just kind of assumed that i was faffing about and that started i just didn't like the way that that made me feel and i'm kind of going to get into that in detail and also kind of talk about why therapy kind of came um in later so the thing is I do okay when it comes to mental health. I'm very, very particular about boundaries, actually like real life. And there are things that I think that just from experience, I've worked towards making or keeping a certain way. But I think that because I had struggled so much last year and I had taken a lot of breaks, when I feel like things low-key started getting crazy for me again, I did not even as a human being stop and say, okay, you have this very big pressing thing that is really like a big deal. like. In front of you right now tackle it dimma or just like just kind of just work on that not even work on because what could i even do but kind of focus on that and focus on yourself i was basically thinking because guys do you, i don't let me say something i don't think i have had people call me lazy as much as they have this past two years i delete comments a lot and i don't just i don't care what anybody say none of you are in my life even that video i had done about my surgery I had I, after doing that video there were so many things that had happened that i had cut out before uploading my editor the guy that edited that video can attest to that because by the time the video went up a lot of the things that he had edited were gone because I just, I felt like there was no point even saying all those, all those things. And I kind of focused on the meat of my surgery, like the surgery itself. And when things started getting intense for me again in August, I remember like just going home. I was scared. There was just so much happening. I was in pain. I was like, guys, <laughs> God, a lot of the videos that I did in August when I was posting three times a week, guys, you guys would not imagine some of the things that I had going on in the background while I was pushing out that content. I ended up going home. I was supposed to be in Enugu for two weeks. I ended up staying in Enugu for three months. My people saw me. They were like, there is no way in hell you're going back to Lagos. Okay? So, it's been that. And if you, if you people were also paying attention, I was, I was supposed to be gone for two weeks. It's kind of hot. Sorry, let me find myself a little bit. I was supposed to be gone for two weeks when I left in November. I literally just came back here last week. I just came back last week. I've been gone for that long. And it's because a lot of this, like I don't, I did not have any control whatsoever. When you guys saw me in November, I had already lost, I was already talking about how I had lost weight and it was obvious in the vlogs that followed. FYI, I have also still lost more weight. so. And it was something that I was just very sensitive about for a point and I didn't want people commenting about it But at this point, I've just come to terms with that as well Just to let you guys know like I said, I don't think I'm not ready Maybe down the line. I'll be ready to talk about all of this But guys, it was just like constant blows to my mental health and constant blows to me physically as well It's just been a lot. Okay. I, I kind of hoped to be able to try to put out what I could do But then you you struggle in ways that are almost unimaginable and you put things together that I come here and to be honest like 99.9 .9 of the comments were fine but the, it, it really dawned on me that I needed to leave here when I realized that the one or two stupid people who would come and say things to me it was kind of getting at me and it kind of just said a lot about how vulnerable and how fragile I was at the time I was reading those things do you understand so I remember at one point where I felt like I was literally fighting for my life. I was to distract myself. I was like, let me come and moderate YouTube comments. And one of the first comments I saw was somebody, I'll put these things there so that you guys would see. I remember clearing a couple of people in my DMs, people telling me things like, not even with a how are you, not with a how are you, telling me that it's not fair, that I wasn't giving them content. And I remember I was internalizing all of this so much that I remember one day that I broke up, broke down in tears and I started crying to Norma. And you know, like, my mom and everybody kind of just like, yeah, they were like, yeah, I think that it's time for her to see someone. And I remember when I started going over this with my therapist and my therapist kind of, you know, we went over the fact that I think I am very good with boundaries when it comes to like one-on-one -on -one interactions and stuff like that. But I realized that when it comes to, because I felt like I liked you guys so much and 
I always wanted to kind of keep you guys happy. She made it really clear to me that maybe when boundaries with audience sometimes that it's not as sharp as it should be because I really do not owe some of these people who are telling me all these things anything. And I think largely I knew that. But then, it went, then again, people telling you certain things and saying it in a very comparative way, comparing you to other people, not caring if you were dying or not, it was really messing with my head. So I decided to go and I saw this from even people. I remember that there was even clients who I had promised that I would do stuff for, who never gave me one couple, who ended up talking to me as if I lived and worked for them. It, the whole thing made me really reevaluate a lot of things when it comes to work, okay? So, it's just been a lot. And I promised myself that I'm not going to cry in this video. I'm not going to mess up this makeup. This is the first makeup that I have done since Whiskey. The last time I had makeup on was for Whiskey. I just wanted to come and touch base with you guys and just talk to you guys. I don't even know how I'm laughing. A lot of this laughter is awkward. I'm still focusing heavily on my well-being. So I'm not going to jump right into filming after this. There's a lot of things that I'm also trying to sort out because I've just come back and I'm moving. This is going to be the last video that you guys are going to see from this space. Um, I've done, there's been a lot of growth here and a lot of achievements and a lot of good things have happened to me here, but it's time to move on. So I'm kind of focusing on that right now. And I'm also focusing on just getting better just getting better, you know, just do things that would just help me. Feeling better as well. I have people who like are holding me really accountable to that at the moment because it is very important. I do plan to come back to work fully, but I can't also say this is exactly when and how and blah, 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 blah. I'm being very, very selfish about a lot of things that concern me now. If there's one thing I've also learned recently is that <laughs> life will move on. For people it's happening for people when it feels like sometimes like your own has stopped and you bending over backwards trying to keep certain people happy and this is not about you guys i love you guys so much this is not about you guys but you bending over backwards to kind of keep or avoid certain things from crazy people it doesn't really change much um i used to be very sensitive about the weight loss even in november like i was so conscious of the way that i looked and it's taking some getting used to but I'm no longer as sensitive as I used to be about it now. So, but I'm still also begging, please don't come and start bringing up my weight. Like, it's not going to help anybody. It's not helping, it's not helping me. Okay, that's it. So with the moving thing, I'm going to try and take you guys along to this new space that I'm trying to move to. But like I said, everything is slow and steady for me. I am under strict instructions to do a lot of things at a certain pace at the moment, just so you guys know. Okay, so a couple of things. I told you guys I was going to get myself a bag for my birthday in June. I did get myself more than one bag. Can I mean? At least I think I deserve that. I got some new piercings, um, two new ones. I don't know if you guys can see. I got a tragus and I got a conch. I wanted to get a tragus and a rook initially, but um, rooks are anatomy dependent. I think it, that's how they say it and there's a certain level of fold you need in your ear for the rook to look a certain way and i didn't have that fold so i ended up getting a conch which is this one that i have here and i got a tattoo <laughs> i got a tattoo um but i got a tattoo and it says elroy and elroy is just one of the names of god in the bible and it means the god who sees me let me tell you guys my relationship with god has gotten so much better this period as well because you th things happen and you understand that is like you just need to cling to him who else and i'm so much better for it and i know that a lot of the things that have changed recently it is him it can only be him um i also signed with a new agency this happened last year but i haven't talked to you guys about that but i signed with a new agency in la and they represent me so that's good news um congratulations to myself thank you god for that but i also just want to end this video by saying thank you to everyone Thank you to you guys. <laughs> Those of you that sent emails, send messages. I know that this is so cliche, but yeah, thank you. Because I saw some people that were yabbing people who do these things on Instagram, but I don't care. I feel like with you people, I have a tribe. And I've gotten emails and I've gotten DMs. And some of you were really, really sensitive and kind with the things that you said to me. I have subscribers who send me prayers every week. They don't know. They are not asking me any questions. I'm not joking. I get weekly prayers from them written down in details with declarations for me. As far as I'm concerned, with you people, I am lucky. I don't want to cry. 
But with you people, I am very lucky. And it wasn't just my prayers and the prayers of my family and friends. You people's, your prayer joined too. So that's just it. I'm very thankful. And my friends and family members really held me tight and held me close during this period. I was with Chrissy for a while. And that girl, Chrissy really held me up and she did not really give me the opportunity to descend into some things that I could have easily descended into. So, so my friends, my loved ones, like some people who I'm not even going to call, they know who they are here. But thank you so, 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 so much. I am going to get back to filming soon. And yeah, I'm excited about like things that I will do. But like, again, I'm not like rushing towards it or I don't have any crazy deadlines for myself and I'm not making any crazy promises, okay? Whenever I'm going to start posting again, I'll just say it on Twitter, maybe most likely. That's it, guys. That's my little update. So I'll see you guys. It's not little. Was it little? No. But that was my update and I'll see you guys in my next one. Mm, 